they didn't honor their reservation so. Few months ago, I volunteered to plan my Mill's 60th birthday and my Phil's 64th birthday which was a weekend in wine country. I had made a reservation for a group of 10 at a new upscale restaurant months beforehand. Because it was also a winery, we arrived two hours early and checked in with the restaurant to see if they could seat us earlier. Despite an empty restaurant, they said they couldn't, and that was no big deal we understood they could be low-staffed, so we went and got some wine and hung out and listened to live music. Close to our reservation time, I got a text from the restaurant to be seated. It was beginning to rain. We walked over to the hostess, she informed us that because it was raining, and because our table was outdoors, that they would not be able to seat us tonight. As calmly as I could, I explained to them that I have had a reservation for months, I've been here for two hours, and I was not told that my reservation was for an outdoor table or subject to rain there was no indoor-outdoor option. I explained to them that it was for a 60th and 64th birthday party. I asked if they could split us up between tables, and they just kept saying that there was nothing they could do, and that it wasn't their fault. Because we can't control the weather. I snapped a little and said sharply well what you could have done was not reserve out a table to a large party that you could not guarantee. The manager just shrugged. We left, and because it was a Saturday at 6.00pm there was no way we were getting a seat at another restaurant, I had to go to the grocery store and cook a full meal for 10 people. I emailed the manager to ask them if there was anything they could comp because our experience was so terrible. I got no response after a week so I made multiple Gmail accounts, and left what was a fairly new restaurant 10 different one-star reviews. In the reviews I said that you should never book this restaurant if you have a large party, how they did not try to find us a table at another restaurant, how they had two hours to fix their error, that they booked out a table they could not guarantee, that they didn't move a table under cover which there was plenty, provide any comps or otherwise make any attempt to fix their error. They ended up with a two-star drop in their Google rating because of my reviews. I left one review for every person that did not get a seat. Several days after I had posted, they reached out offering to comp a meal for my in-laws if our group took the reviews down. Which I refused. Welcome to our restaurant. Do you have a reservation? Based on your bad reviews, I have a few of them. I hate when they offer something after the consequences of their actions caught up to them and is crappy. This is where you edit the one-star reviews to mention that the restaurant offered to comp a meal if you take the one-star review down. Tell them you'll consider it for the 70th 66th birthday parties. Given that this was in wine country that comped meal would require planning a whole not her vacation. I might have been tempted to make 10 different reservations over the next few weeks for large groups that failed to show up. Wow. I'd have not only left bad reviews but I'd post about the experience all over social media, and include the name of the restaurant so other people know not to go. Here in the UK, where the weather is unpredictable restaurants don't take reservations for seating that's not undercover, for exactly this reason. On a nice day you can use those seats as a walk-in, fair. Taking a large booking seating you outdoors when it might rain is bad form you definitely showed them the error of their ways. Smiling face with sunglasses. I was hoping you would also make lots of reservations and not attend. Why take the reviews down? They clearly worked very hard to earn those reviews. Anybody who says we'll give you your money back if you remove the review is a hard pass for me. Give me my money back first, then I'll think about it. I was prepared for you to say that you used different numbers over a two-month period to completely book up a Saturday for them, and then bailed on all of them. You are nicer than I am. LOL. What kind of a new restaurant tells a group of 10 to fuck off? I like that fact that you got that 10-10 working. What a bag of dick tips. I'll never understand why restaurants and other establishments do this when they rely on marketing and the best marketing is word of mouth. Well, that's 10 new mouths that will be telling people how shitty the restaurant treated them. And then bribing you to take down the reviews? Hell nah. 
I'm usually appalled by people who abuse the online review system for petty revenge, but this really does sound like you gave them every opportunity to the error and they and they staunchly refused. Well done. Not only would I have left 10 bad reviews, I would have made 10 different reservations for large parties, show up by myself and order a single drink to enjoy while seeing the sullen expressions on their faces as the fully booked restaurant stands empty. Truly perfect petty revenge chef's kiss. I work in the wine industry and would really love to know the name of this place. I would have said I'd be happy to take down my review if you do this then after they have their meal, take down one review and if they bitch, play their card back on them and say that the others don't have internet and used your internet to make the reviews, and so there's nothing you can do because you can't control other people's internet. Good for you. I would definitely like to know if a restaurant did absolutely nothing to correct their error. Well played, Petty Crocker, well played thumbs up sign. That's when you get everyone in your party to provide similar reviews for each person in the party. That would come out to 101 star reviews which would probably drop another star off their rating. By that time, they might be willing to comp the whole party, set up another reservation, send a limo out to pick everyone up, and provide a hotel room for each person. The restaurant isn't worldwide ditch. F divided by M. Tomorrow there will be new another one. Spread the word to the neighbors. Fuck review. I wouldn't have taken them down either. I would have gone everywhere on the internet I could leave a review and done the same. Are you gonna give us the name of this place so we know to avoid it? What's the restaurant? I live in wine country and would love to know who not to support. That's crazy that they were so blasé about something they should never ever do when taking reservations which is not accommodate someone who has a reso. It is going to put them in the ass down the road and from someone else too. I would have removed the reviews, taken the money and then put the reviews back up with the addition that they tried to bribe you. I would update your reviews to include how they asked you to take the review down. Write a new review edit an old one stating they would comp you if you remove these reviews rolling on the floor laughing. The thing is though that's actually all true and information people should know. I imagine the next person about to plan a big group event won't make the mistake of booking there. Once they start losing business the owner will trace it back and when he does that manager is toast. I have 10 Gmail accounts for such an occasion. Ain't my first rodeo. Having worked in restaurants for nearly 20 years, I cannot fathom doing this to a reservation. And it's only 10 people? Surely they could have accommodated. Everyone has a weather app. I know we would have been checking the weather and being sure our party had a table. And I if we had turned them away we would have offered so much in compensation. This is just terrible business. Something I haven't seen mentioned here is why would you want to go back and get a camped meal where they can mess with your food. They are clearly unhappy with you guys. Good on you for leaving a bad review, it's really the only way companies actually listen to complaints. Name and shame, you'll make a reso. I would have lost my shit. That place deserves to go out of business. How much you wanna bet, they still do this to people. They clearly DGAF. Pro tip, add photos, do not reference competitors as that will be easier to flag and try to use Google accounts with multiple reviews under their belt. Share the Google Maps, we will leave our reviews too. EA. Good for you. They could have made some kind of an effort to accommodate you. That restaurant is doomed. If they can't honor the reservations and make their guests comfortable, they shouldn't be in that business. Hit their open table Yelp trip advisor, all of them. Now serving an XL helping of fuck you with free refills. I'd also start randomly reserving multiple tables on Fridays and never show up. So you know how to take the reservation but you don't know how to keep the reservation. OP should have then told the manager these pretzels are making me thirsty face with tears of joy face with tears of joy I kick. You know how to take the reservation but you don't know how to hold the reservation. 
GIF GIFI 307BU9HZOWSEOCY downsized.